honey. We're looking at cat population with six weeks to go for cat. Right? So we have come all the way preparing very hard and now only six weeks are left for cat. One important aspect, don't give up hope. Keep preparing till the end. Even if your scores are not improving, even if nothing is happening, please ensure that you make a plan, either weekly or daily or whatever plan and ensure that you try and follow it. There will be a lot of times where you will be down. There will be a lot of times where you may not be able to follow your plan. Okay, for whatever reasons. But don't give up till the end. Keep trying. So here, I'm just making a plan for a week. I mean, six weeks to cat. Let's look at what plan we need to make for one week. You can follow these plans maybe week after week. But this gives you a rough idea of what you need to do in a particular week in terms of preparation. You can modify the plan based on what your comfort level is. What I'm just trying to do out here is just give a breakup of time that you need to spend for different parameters. So preparation plan for the sixth week. Six weeks, the one week which is a wash away preparation plan. Ideally, I would put, put three mocks a week. You can increase, decrease whichever way you want. So I put it on Sunday, Wednesday, Saturday, assuming that people are working on a weekday and can devote one weekday for writing a mock and two weekends for writing a mock. You can change the way based on your comfort level but yeah, or you can keep it three mocks a week on any of the three days. You can reduce it to two, you can increase it to four based on your comfort level right? but keep it around three because you need more time to prepare and practice. Mocks is only one way to know where you stand. You need to prepare and practice. Apart from the mocks, ideally a 25 to 45 hours in a week for preparation. This is apart from the mock that is done. So you already spend maybe around six hours writing a mock. So that means the total time could vary to 30 to 40, 50 hours in a week in terms of your preparation, right? So what would, what would you, what should you prepare as such? So let's look at it. So let's start with the week starts on a Sunday. Okay. So I can write a mock for two hours. As I said, we are looking at mocks. So here I'm talking serious mock. So I'll come to it later on. What do you mean by serious mock? Basically, I'll write with proper time to maximize my score. Try to write a mock as such. The way I plan, the way I go about it. I'll analyze the mock for three hours. I mean, three hours proper analysis of the mocks. That's at least required. I mean, minimum three hours is required. Where you analyze each and every question, write down the details on a book. And by down, you must have analyzed quite a few mocks. I'm not getting into analysis right now. I'm just trying to tell you how to spend time of your preparation. So two hours writing mock, three hours analysis. I will read for one hour on Sunday. Because my lot of time is already gone in the mock, so I don't have so much time remaining. So maybe one hour reading should help. Puzzles for 15 minutes. Calculations for 15 minutes. Remember, calculations are important, puzzles are important to make you think. So spend that one time for one puzzle solving, a few time for calculations. Match some. So pick up questions from the previous year mock papers or from this year mock papers. Mix some and try practicing some for one hour on mathematics. Apart from the mocks. I'm sure you must have done some amount of mathematics and some amount of DLR in your mock papers. Apart from that, you may spend one hour on your maximum and one hour on your DLR. Sum. This may be optional depending upon how you feel and how tired you are. But yes, this is what could be the plan. Assuming you're free on a Sunday, you can spend so many hours, which is around eight and a half hours of preparation for CAT. Do I think eight and a half hours is too, but if I remove a reading, puzzle and calculation, it comes to around seven hours on a Sunday. So, which is fine. Coming to non-mock days, so Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday will be a non-mock days on the days which will not write a mock. So what will you do? I would say around 1.5 to 3 hours on con practice. And these are, this depends on how much time you have. So obviously if you're working, you may be not be able to spend more than 4 hours a day. If you're not working, you can spend maybe 6 to 7 hours a day for preparation. And this is since it's a peak time for cat preparation, try to remove time to prepare for cat. So maybe 1.5 to 3 hours for con practice. From this 1.5 to 3 hours, I would say maybe around one third of the time, maybe 0.5 to 1 hour on concept revision. What is concept revision? It's like a particular concept I want to go to. Like I feel geometry is my weak area. I want to really practice geometry. You can go back to geometry and practice. Or there's a new method I found and I want to just go to the new method for going back to a particular topic. You can do that. And one to two hours of mixed sums. Mixed sums are more important because in the examination, what you have is mixed sums. So during solving these mixed sums, focus on maybe selection of question, identifying easier tough sums, and trying to find better methods for it. Don't focus on quantity. 
focus on quality of your preparation that is more important apart from this 1.5 to 3 hours of diala practice pick up a few sets and try to solve 1 to 2 hours of reading or verbal exercises depending on what time and how much time you have available and 15 minutes calculation 15 to 30 minutes puzzles again i given a range the lower range is for people who are working who don't have enough time for preparation so you can remove 4 hours a day higher range is for people right who are you know at home preparing for cat and give more time for it general plan in terms of how much power, how much time you need to give for preparation but again the focus during preparation has to be two things one is learning to identify easy question and second is to trying to get better way methods of solving the questions that you are doing then wednesday was a mock day we planned i would take experimentation mode. what do you mean experiment site a mock just to experiment have a very new strategy which you have so try out a different strategy for verbal try out a different strategy for quant try out a different strategy for diala in sense like uh, so it is possible that you may be you are going to all the sets and then you are solving uh, picking up easy sets and so on in this experimentation mock maybe try going through maybe as in when you go to the sets try to solve it or just go to first two or three sets and then pick up the easy set and so on so do something different than what you were actually doing just to see if it works or not works experimentation helps because it not only reduces your stress in the mock but it also helps you to understand what works and what does not work for you and like same and like the mock for 3 hours know what works what doesn't work reading 0.5 to 2 hours depending on you are at home or you are working so if you are working obviously you can't spend too much time so at least spend some time maybe for reading whenever possible reading the most important thing puzzles if you have time spend 15 minutes if not you can skip it calculation same way is what you so this is wednesday okay where you will write a mock and like a mock and little extra thing that is there which is okay saturday is again a mock day serious mock so two, two mocks in a week serious one experimentation so that's what you can work on analyze the mock for 3 hours read for 0.5 to 1 hour okay again because you're in a mock you're tired again depending on whether you're working on saturday or not working on saturday you can decide on a time that you spend 0 to 15 minutes on puzzle 0 to 15 minutes on calculation if you're not working you can spend 1 hour on max sums and 1 hour hour on dr sums if you're working don't spend time on max and dr you already written a mock and analyze a mock so your time should be spent based on the time available to you there's nothing saying that if i spend much more time i will be more prepared but is hard work is important and you have to spend that time so i have just given a brief idea across the whole section in terms of how you need to spend the time as per a rough plan that i made i want you to make a written down plan on the same basis actually you should write down maybe a day before for example if you're making a plan for saturday on friday night write a plan and say that at between this time and this time i will write a mock between this time and this time i'll analyze between this time and this time i'll read and so on make a written down plan in terms of what time are you going to spend how much you may not be able to follow everything that's perfectly all right but in the end of the day you should be satisfied that i've given my efforts as far as preparation is concerned that is what is important as long as you have given your efforts the improvement will come over a period of time but remember one thing the improvement will come on these factors one is strategy in your paper that you write so that experimentation is important second is a selection of questions selection you do when you practicing so when you practice maxim and diala sum work on that selection which is there okay and third is the methods that you solve okay so when you say methods how to solve things faster so that when you so each sum you solve look out for a better way of solving better method of solving calculation will also help you to build up speed puzzle will help you to think better all this could be a part of your preparation that you do in a week and that will lead to improvement right i hope this plan helps try to follow as far as possible and you can comment and the feedback at the regarding whether it has helped you did you follow it or not thank you